Outside of Lubbock, Texas is the small town of Smyre, Texas, a town that is just over 500 square miles and almost 500 people. It is also the home of the Smyre Bobcats, who have one of the best girls teams in Texas. Smyre has a great tradition of girls basketball. Uh, the past two years, they haven't made it to the postseason, but before that, they were rich in tradition. Uh, 2010, it was the first time they went to state and won state. 2011, they went back, so they had a back-to-back -back state championship. I I've been proud of what the girls have accomplished, and they're kind of going to build that tradition back up. Re-emerging as a power player in Class 2A, the Bobcats are working hard to become the Cats Meow once again. Having their players buy into the program is the hardest piece of the puzzle for most teams, but one already in place for the Smyre girls. We made playoffs this year and we got third in district. It's different from our past other seasons because we haven't made district as since we've been a freshman. This season, I think we pushed through a lot of obstacles that came our way. We overcame a lot of difficulties throughout the season. At the beginning, we were not that good, but later on throughout the season, we came together and became better players. The 2018-2019 season started that rhythm for the Bobcats, winning enough games to get them into the playoffs and even their by-district round against McKamey High School. We consider it a season of success because, like I said before, the past two years we didn't make playoffs at all. The, my sophomore year, we won one district game, and the year last year, we almost made it to playoffs, and this year we just, I think it was a really good success. Great group of girls. They work hard, which makes my job, that does half my job for me. You know, I take my philosophies everywhere I go, but the thing that makes it work is kids that are willing to work and get better. And that, that's these kids. They work hard, and, and the chemistry was really good this year. But whether they are winning or losing, the Bobcats girls basketball team knows that success isn't their record, but their faith in one another. I want them to continue to stay together and be play as one instead of play individually. I was proud of what they accomplished. You know, we've made this step to this step, but now we have to go to the next step. You know, next step is reach your quarterfinals. You need to get to the reach your quarterfinals. Do whatever you have to do this spring, this summer, next fall, to get you ready for that next step. You know, we're not gonna slide backwards. And the only way to do that is whatever you've done this year, you're going to have to work that 5% just a little bit harder each day next year and continue on that same track.